a and b are integers and a squared minus b squared equal to 20 23 find the value of a it is a an easy problem i only want to show you prime factorization of 20 23 because uh, we are in 2022 and next year is 2023 so many problems in many problems you need to know prime factorization of 2023 so if 2022 is easy to check because it is multiple of 2 and 3 but here if you check it is not multiple of 2 not multiple of 3 but multiple of 7 if you divide by 7 it will be 2 62 will be 8 and 8 times 56, 6, 63, 8, 9. And 2, 8, 9 is 17 squared. So it is 7 times 17 squared. So if I write and on, we have a famous identity that a squared minus b squared equal to a minus b times a plus. And because here we have a squared, so sign is not important. So I can say without loss of generality. Suppose a and b are greater than or equal to zero, and because their difference is positive, you can say that a is greater than or equal to b, or you can say they cannot be equal. Greater than b, greater than or equal to zero. Okay. Now we can say product is seven times seventeen squared, because a squared minus b squared here, so it is seventeen times seventeen squared. Now. I know because A is positive, B is non-negative, so this part is positive, the product is positive, so it is also positive, because if it is negative, negative times positive will be negative. Contradiction. So it's positive. And also, we can say it is less than, and B cannot be zero, obviously. So, we can say, or you can say it is less than or equal to this, because A minus B, B is a non-negative number here, A plus B. So if I want to write the cases, here one case is set one, and we know it is 20, 23. So we say 7 times 17 squared. If it is 7, it will be 17 squared. If it is 17, it will be 7 times 17. So one prime factors, one factor, this, this. So let's check. Do we have any other cases? 6, 3 of. Yeah. Okay, we don't need to check of other cases because we said this is less than or equal this part so we only need to check three cases and at the end we consider plus minus of a because for example if plus 10 works for a negative 10 also works now let's consider first case in first case a minus b is 1 a plus b is 7 times 17 squared which is 20 23 uh, we want to find a. If you add up these two terms, 2a equals to 2024, 20, and a will be 1012. It is first answer for a. Now, let's check this answer. a minus b equals to 7. a plus b equals to 17 squared, 289. If I want to find a, 2a equals to 289296. If we divide by 2, a will be equal to 1, 4, 8. This is our second answer. So now last. a minus b is 17. a plus b is 7 times 17, which is 7 times 7, 49. We have 4. 7 times 1 plus 4 is 1, 1, 9. Now, here, if we add these two terms, 2a equal to 119, 129-136. And if you divide by 2, it will be 60, 16, 8. Okay, so, and let me tell you something. As homework, try to check this a, and also you can find b in each case. Try to find a and b and check in the main equation. And let me tell you, because here we said, without loss of generality. So if I want to write all A, you should say plus minus 112, plus minus 148, plus minus 68. So find these answers for A. And as homework, try to check all of these A's and also find B. 
Uh, other homework, you can also for 2022, you can solve this a minus b squared minus b squared 2022, also for 2024, because these years are important in many problems. It's good to know the prime factorization. And I will release other solutions of problems we have in Olympiad and other math exams. So please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell for having next ideas and videos, and like this video. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.